Hey, what is up, guys? Mark Talks Wrestling here. Welcome to my WWE Monday Night Raw January January 9th, uh, 2017 results and review. My first video of 2017. We're already starting off at a rough start. Anyway, I got a. Uh, I'm on my way to work right now. Just got off school. Got the results right here for Monday Night Raw. Let's get straight to it. All right, so the show started with uh, Jerry KO versus Roman Reigns. Obviously, it was announced uh, before Raw that Roman Reigns will take on Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens on a two-on-one handicap match for the United States Championship. And, uh, yeah, so, crap, I dropped my uh, results to review. Wow, what a year, bro. What a year already. Anyway, so, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, Strowman interrupted that match. It was, like, a... I'm not even sure if the bell rang, doesn't matter, because uh, Stormman interrupted. And then Stephanie came out, no, Stephanie did not come out, Seth Rollins came out. He ended up uh, helping uh, Roman Reigns because he was getting jumped. He uh, ran out with a steel chair, which is pretty cool. And yeah, Strowman came out, no, Stephanie came out, Jesus Christ. Stephanie came out, announced that the match would still take place, but in the main event, so. Yeah, anyway, uh, and then she set up Strowman versus Rollins for just a regular match. That's what we're going to talk about right now, Strowman versus Rollins. I thought it was a pretty okay match. You know, it's good to see Strowman improve. Uh, if he works with the right people, he can definitely improve. Same for, for Roman Reigns. And, uh, yeah, Seth Rollins, he put on a good show, but still, Strowman was just too much for him. He didn't lose. It was a double count. Huh? Nobody lost, but still, you know, nobody was able to put away either man in that match. So, also I saw um, when Seth Rollins gave that frog splash, he kind of landed on Strowman's head, which you know can result in a concussion. Just can. It can. It's not guaranteed, but it can. Up next we have Jack Gallagher versus was it Drew? Drew Gulak or Tony Nese? It was one of those two. I forgot. I'm sorry. But anyways, Gallagher won. One of my favorite cruiserweights right now on Raw. I like I like Kendrick. I like uh, I like Swan. I like Neville and Gallagher. Those are basically the four cruiserweights that I most like. Anyway, uh, Gallagher ended up challenging Araya Devari for a match. For not for a duel, but for a uh, just for a match for 205 Live, which I started watching recently, and I thought, and I think it's actually pretty good. I just feel bad for the crowd who got, you know, have to sit there and watch 205 Live. Not that it's a bad show, but to watch it after a SmackDown main event, which is a bit, like, they should have 205 Live taped before SmackDown, and then you air it after, after SmackDown ends. You know, that's what they do with WWE Superstars and WWE Main Events. Those two shows, that's what they do. But they should do it for 205 Live as well, because who really watches Main Event? Anyways, up next we have that Shawn Michaels segment. My favorite wrestler of all time. The greatest wrestler of all time. Just dabbed in front of the WWE Universe. He dabbed because of TJ Perkins. That boundary little bastard. Why would he do that to... All the credibility that Shawn Michaels had for his entire legendary, iconic, brilliant career, all flushed down because of a freaking dab. I hate 2017. And if it and if that wasn't enough, we have to sit through him promoting his damn movie, which, if you didn't know, is gonna come out on January 20th. So make sure to not watch that movie. I already promised certain people that I wouldn't watch it, anyways. Then Rusev came out with uh, Jinder Mahal. We had a match, Jinder Mahal versus Big Cass, which also means I should mention that Big Cass and Enzo Mori also came out. Jinder Mahal versus Big Cass, six stars. Actually, no, it did not take place in the in the Tokyo Dome. So, uh, anyway, yeah, basically every credibility Shawn Michaels had. I hope they never do that to Shawn Michaels ever again. They better not. If they do, honestly, I don't know what to do anymore. And then up next, Neville defeated Lince Dorito. And after the match, he started attacking Dorito. But then now came Rich Swan to for the save. I'm guessing, you know, we're getting Swan versus Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship soon. I see it coming. 
Anyway, up next, Sheamus versus Luke Gallows. And as much as I like Cesar and Sheamus, I do feel so bad for the club. They're being treated so, just, just so weak. They, they, they're looking like they're so weak. Like they can't do anything. They can never win. They were treated in Japan much better. And, and people wonder why don't the, why don't the Young Bucks come to WWE? Why doesn't Kenny Omega come to WWE? Well, because they see how they treat Gallows and Anderson. They treat them like absolute dupes. First, we had that messing with Biggie's balls, and now we have this crap. They keep losing. They can never win. That's the issue. Ah! But at the same time, you got to look at AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura, Samoa Joe, how much success they're getting in the WWE. Uh, anyway, I'm not going to bring up that argument. Sheamus defeated Luke Gallows. The Undertaker returned. Thank God he did not promote a movie. Uh, thank God he didn't dab either. Because if, if he would have dabbed, I would have never watched Raw again. And I know people, a lot of people say I would never watch Raw again. Then tune in the next week. I was, I was actually serious. I will never watch Raw again if Undertaker dad. Thank God he didn't, so I can continue watching Raw. Yay! More reviews. So, Undertaker says, 28, 29, 29 holes for 29 souls. It will be 28 because Sheamus is a ginger. He has no soul. Ooh, how many people did I trigger? Probably probably a lot. Uh, but yeah, take a return, so. Woohoo! It was great. To, uh, his entrance still gives me chills to this day. I'm excited. He also announced he's going to enter the Royal Rumble, so maybe he'll win. Who knows? It was also announced that Lesnar is going to return this next week. Brock Lesnar returns next week, a.k.a. Paul Heyman returns with Brock Lesnar jumping back and forth. So who knows? You know, just flouncing side to side, which is pretty fucking dumb. Ooh, I just cursed. Wow. I'm not going to censor that, so you're just going to have to deal with it. Anyways, Charlotte and Nia Jax versus Bailey and Sasha Banks. What the hell? It, I, liked the, I, I liked the Sasha Banks and Stephanie McMahon face-off. I thought it was pretty. I thought it was a pretty good face-off. I actually enjoyed it. Maybe they're going to match in the future. Who knows? Uh, but anyways, Charlotte and Nia Jax defeated Bailey and Sasha. What was a pretty underwhelming match. You know, I'm going to be honest. I expected a bit more from them. But yeah, that's it for the women, really. That's all really you did for them. And then we had that Titus and New Day segment, which I'm not going to talk about because that's something kids should never know of. And finally, the main event Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns for the United States Championship. Yes! Jericho is the new United States Champion. And no, that does not mean Roman Reigns is going to win at the Royal Rumble. He better not win at the Royal Rumble. If he does win at the Royal Rumble, you know what? I'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm gonna celebrate Jericho being the new United States Champion. I'm freaking happy right now. And that's it for my Raw results to review. What did you guys think? Tell me in the comments below. Are you guys excited for next week? Brock Lesnar returning. He's gonna, you know, pounce back and forth like he always does for 10 minutes while Paul Heyman cuts a brilliant promo. Anyways, yeah. You excited for Raw next week? If you like Raw, tell me in the comments below. Any sports is liking, share, subscribe, it's greatly appreciated. I changed my Twitter ad and I'm now called The Marvelous One because my name, Marv, Marvelous One, it fits. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.